I'm sorry, I have to refer to Nerissa as the Little Mermaid because that's what she is. S something like that. I I am a little confused. So much plot is getting explained right now, mainly in the sense that um, we got we got destroyed, and now Snow is like going super critically like like super worried, straight up stressed out, doesn't want us to die, but at the same time. Um, enforcing the rules super hard. I don't know if I'm okay with that. All I'm saying is it's a little too strict for my taste. Especially being the renegade. But, you know, like, ah. Uh, but, you know, like, it'll, it'll be alright. Hi. I get the sure. feeling this is gonna be a very slow part, though. I, I'm starting oh, to kind of get that feel. I hope things pick up. Have a seat. Okay, so she she's got plot, right? Something? Do I have a major headache? I um are you okay? Oh yeah, I she saw me night. just get beat to I wasn't shit. Sure um, I'd be, you know, around. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> I'm a tough guy. Look at me smoke and look super cool. Puff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What are you? Are you trying to say that your brand's better? Screw you. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Is that ever going to get I explained, mean? just what I happened? I don't want to waste your time. But I don't want you wasting your own time, either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you, either just she like really that, wants to say something, or I pissed her off. I, I cannot no, decide right now. I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. Oh, that's so, so depressing. I looking after yours. Um. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? Wait, I have friends? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. But your lips are sealed. I mean, we we can be friends. I'm See, I'm already starting to understand sorry your situation. If I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Do you like it? Hmm. Do you? It was. It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it?
Shit. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. No. His lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please. Don't. Is that going to, like, straight up decapitate her or suffocate her if I try that? Okay. Is that why she got super shook it. up? So the rip Something is... bad gonna happen if I try to do that Take again. Them off. You know, um. Sorry. I, I wish I could do something. I guess I shouldn't have just gone straight for it. I should have talked to her. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen. It's probably Jim, not snow. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot Oh, can I say my lips are sealed? Trouble. Um I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, it is snow. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't mm. have to go. I felt like she just gave us a, a cue. A clue. That was... Uh, Brock? With her, like, a cue in her dialogue, you know what I'm saying? What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay, then. Good work. So, yeah, that, that is the that is what I got, yeah. To it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. See, I'm a detective. I know what I know what you know, to do. Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. I, I get the feeling they're not going to be very cooperative. To to the I mean, man, I haven't really been very cooperative to them. To I've just been trying to stay out of their business. Else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. I guess Snow's not going to be our friend anymore. I, I kind of sided against her. Oh, hey, I got a trophy. All right, Beauty and the Beast Department. Oh, I get the feeling this is not going to end well. Hey, I got that money. Okay, so clearly, because I have the money, I I'm going to be able to... Uh, wait, I can't go any further. Uh, that, that's kind of weird. All right, so th this has to be it. All right, their apartment. So I can bribe them, right? I can be like, here's some oh. money. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? 
Yes, let's. <laughs> I get the feeling that this is gonna go very well. Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Oh, oh, sweet! I can investigate. All right, let's uh, let's look at this priceless urn. Ooh, that's a nice portrait. I about living in the past. Of course you do. He was keeping I mean, I, I I couldn't have said it better myself. Little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring it. Who is that? T said. Do they sing? It, it doesn't seem like they sing. Um. Can't investigate. So. Listen to the door, right? I, I don't want to knock. I mean, they're talking. They're they're probably discussing something super, super important. I don't want. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to interrupt. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say: centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Look, I got a lot of cash. You can I gotta have know it. One thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? You have info on that crooked bastard. I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt. Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Man, talk about your first world problems. Although they are dealing with the crooked man, so chances are all of this Hi is going to go bye-bye. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just... Uh... A day at the beach? Hey, Skiing we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon. Yeah, I just want to hear who's calling. That'd be important. Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. I have to give it to them. I mean, even though they're in danger, at least they're quite is, whimsical. How can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Aww. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. 
I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times. Jesus. Too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked men. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the crooked man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. Hmm. I don't want Beauty to have to I work. guess this guy had a package. From Anti Greenleaf or something? Yeah, and it was, um. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have Seriously, to. Seriously, I didn't want to get involved. So I had to get involved. To get by. None of us should. We were royalty once, we were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. So, I can't... I can't like give them give them the money. I just okay. Um, you know that butcher shop, the, the butcher shop or the lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. You know that butcher shop, hmm. the cut above. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. Ugh, I really, you know that really shop, don't know. The um, the thing is, the lucky pawn. You know what? Let's That's go to the lucky pawn. Let's, let's just go to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? Well, then, I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Yeah, I'll do the right thing by doing the wrong thing and making you in debt for life.